Hi guys, <coughs> Yolanda here and I'm back with the high tea mini album um, and now we are doing the cover right so I've already done one side I've cut the chipboard nine and three quarter by six and a half which gives me plenty of room <coughs> when we eventually get to do the inside covers it's just perfect so I'm going to show you how I did this and of course I've got two pieces of the cardstock cut I have already done the spine and the spine I cut two and a half inches obviously by nine and a half right and this piece here is for the spine and it's six and a quarter by nine it's just to, let me show you how I did this because um, you know once you put your paper it adds a little bit of extra length or width to whatever you're doing so I measured it because I want it to fit perfectly and that yeah that's about fine and then you know I made my pencil mark and I cut it so and it's six and a quarter wide now these come out really nice when they done when the corners are done like this it does take a bit of elbow work but you can see how nice I hope you can see how nice the corners come out and let's do this one now so first thing we're going to do is put glue or tape like I say I, I'm not using tape anymore I've got a couple of albums that I did you know years ago when I first started using tape and I'm now having to fix them in with glue because they've just come apart that tape just doesn't or maybe it's the tape we get here in South Africa I don't know but um, anyway glue is good glue is my go-to so aim it in the middle I mean I cut this with about ugh, it's not quite an inch let's say three quarters of an inch okay and that one tip when you're putting it on and you want to put it on straight make sure your paper is lying straight okay and then you can straighten your card or chipboard so that's about right now I just want to do like so and then we come to the corners so I'm just going to put some glue on each of the corners like so and like that then take your corner if it's slightly off it's okay it's not a train smash um, and and even if it is slightly off try and keep corner to corner and then fold it down like so do your burnishing there yes and then you can do your burnishing because it's going to pull it when you when you do it it's going to pull it slightly <coughs> to do the burnishing on the sides and I really squeeze it down you know and I'm going to speed this up now So there you have it guys and then just burnish the front as well and I just like to burnish the sides and there you have it you can see it does take a bit of elbow, elbow grease on the corners but they really do come out very very nice I hope you can see that You bring it a bit closer. Jota, you're misbehaving. You're misbehaving. You can say hello to everybody. 
Ah, he loves my desk. He's a very active little dog. <laughs> he knocks everything over, tries to chew everything, and I don't let him, of course. So I'm just letting him have a quick gander. Off, off, off. <laughs> I love this dog. I do. I love my little dog. And now, you better go down. Oh, yes, I love you too. <laughs> He's going to bark, I know, because he wants to come back. So now we have, let me just clear this, because it's got a bit of... Uh oh, now he's playing with the light, Jota. I had to put on the bright light again today, guys, because it's so dark. Uh, it's going to go that way. You know, it's, it's a cold, rainy day. Uh, he's running away with one of my spray mists. I've got to move my, um, what you might call it. So now, 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 now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this straight onto here as much in the middle as I possibly can. So we're going to take this wrong side. I do wish this was, I mean I chose this because it's silver and it's got polka dots which I adore. <laughs> um, but it's not double sided unfortunately so we're going to have to make a plan. So again, I am just. What is that noise? <laughs> I am going to glue it down. Now I've chosen to take mine edge to edge. You can, if you want, make uh, give yours a little bit of a margin there it's entirely up to you so i'm just gonna burnish it this way first and i'm gonna roll it over, not roll it over and just make sure it's nice and down and straight i've had this silver pad for ages and that you know you know it, what happens when you put stuff away you forget about it well that's what happened with me so now now <clears throat> you can actually do this on both sides yeah just like that and I'll do it on the other side too I had to go out this morning to get my third booster shot because yay I'm traveling to Australia to see my son who I haven't seen in almost three and a half years because of the COVID yeah and um, he sent tickets for me and Joe and my goodness we are just so looking forward to it you know we weren't expecting to go anywhere because we've just been overseas now i'm going to glue this like so that's why it would have been nice if it was um what you might call it double-sided and i am going to leave guys a bit of a margin i've already made my mark there and you know like we normally do in in um uh -oh, in mini albums so just to double check that's about fine that's about right. And you want to make sure it's nicely stuck in place before you put the other one on. And it's just, yeah, that should be fine. And let's burnish it. It's a little bit over there, so I'll probably trim it with a craft knife or jiffy knife. Yeah, I did better get a bit of glue there. Never mind, never mind. So just burnish it. Give it a couple of seconds to dry. Mm. 
make sure it's stuck down I mean when you put the page on it will look like this and oh I should take out look at that that's six <laughs> the measurement look very nice and you can leave it like this plain of course if you want but um, I'm not going to use my little brush uh, I wanted my other one I bought a new one so now I'm just gonna flip it over and I think it's absolutely fine it's looking good looking good yeah a little bit longer on here which I will very carefully only when it's completely 100% dry will I cut it otherwise it'll just tear and I don't want that so there we go and now we can do the side so let's just put the glue is my head there again Yeah, so we'll be spending Easter with my son, Joe and I, and then um, I'll be staying longer. <laughs> and then he's my son, my gorgeous, wonderful son, is taking me to Singapore th for three days on my way back. This is really an unexpected holiday. So, like I said, three and a half years, guys. Imagine three and a half years not seeing your son your child oh oh my gosh do you see what i've done there guys you I, I can hear you i can hear you now all saying no 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 you're putting it in the wrong place and you are right i am <laughs> no more chatting that's it i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to be away but i do have um videos lined up So don't be like me, don't do like I do, no, 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 you do only what I do the second time around. <laughs>burnish it and then afterwards if you haven't cut it completely like me you just um, take it off with the jiffy knife the extra oh yeah there we go so it should be fine Make sure this is clean. And I'm going to let this dry. Then I'm going to go off camera and just cut these bits to make everything as perfect as we can make it. And then I will be back to put in the spine. I've done quite a bit I've added a lot of paper but not all of it and now we just need to do the front and back page and it, I've made a very simple one it's just a pocket and these are I still gotta you know make them pretty <laughs> I've just put these in temporarily for that and then you are gonna need some glossy paper or you know the paper with the shinies because I've landed up using quite a bit it just gives it that extra pizzazz so now uh, and yeah you see me you, uh, you already explained that because it was just looking a bit tatty there so this is my piece I've just cut it to fit guys you know it's just shy of nine and a half by whatever that width is what is this particular one I mean it's you know, it's simple enough to cut it yourselves. 
six and a quarter. This happens to be six and a quarter across by nine. Let's see, I might as well give you the, yeah, nine and a half. It's actually nine and a half because obviously the cover is bigger. So I'm going to just glue that. So front and back are the same. I actually can't wait to stick photos in here. <laughs> So yeah, and I've got a lot of albums to make because as I said in a previous video, I want to convert my 12 by 12s into mini albums. I mean, all that paper, I'm going to have to find a way to do it so that I don't waste all that paper that I used before. We'll see what happens. And of course you can't get it anymore. And um, yeah, so easy enough guys. And here's my... I should actually clean this because it's a little bit poofy. So that's it. And then the pocket is also very simple. This pocket is seven and a quarter by five, including the double check that, including the flaps. Yep. Yep. No, by five and a half, sorry. I didn't include the flap and no, wait a minute. Uh, yes, it is seven and a quarter by five and of course half an inch for the flaps and this is easy enough to glue down. I haven't counted how many pages I've used um, of cardstock. It must be like more than 20. The papers for that, for the collection are actually 24, so I've still got that, these two, I have already cut for the front, this one, but I don't know because, you know, my mind is milling with ideas now about what I'm going to do there, and then I've got bits and pieces, so it's not a lot, not a lot to play with. And um, let's glue this down now in the middle. So we are just going to glue that like this. Okay, more or less giving some room on either side. So you're going to glue or put glue down the center. Don't use tape, <laughs> as I often say, unless you're using that pink one, you know, I don't know. I haven't used that pink one, I've only really used it for uh, lace and stuff. But I think glue is better to do your spines. I find so, anyway. No jota, <laughs> that's jota. Oh, yeah, yeah. What you can see, I'm putting lots, and then I'm actually going to stand up for this. I can have a better view. Okay. I hope I have a better view, guys. I might go off camera, but I, I just want to get it right, you know. So there should be a little bit of a margin between top and bottom, and then you can eyeball to make sure you've got more or less even on either side and then you can let it dry burnish it make sure everything sticks Okay, while that is drying, I just want to show you what I've done so far. Um, I cut out a whole lot of these from, you know, those Tim Holtz die cuts, they're really lovely. And this is from the cutout page. So I'm going to be dotting them all over. 
I was going to use these ones, tabs, for my photo mats, which I used, this guy. But I, actually, I think I'm going to use the silver paper now. It'll just um, zap it up a bit. So let's get that out the way. So you can see I've used the, you know, the cutouts here, the die cuts here. I haven't put anything on this page because photographs are going to go there. So I'm not even going to put pink down. Um, yeah. Okay. And then this one, I still have to do something at the bottom, which I'll do afterwards and then show you in the flip through. And you've seen this. I don't know if I should put pink on the back. I'll see. I'll sh I, sh I will see. So that's now I've got to remember what opens where. That goes into it. And you can see I haven't done these yet. This you saw me do. And of course that's there for the pocket. And then I need, I'll put one fancy paper here. Maybe some gold or silver paper here. We'll see. And so that's that. So this opens. And I've used this paper because, you know, I had it. It's in, been in my stash for a while. So I thought, yeah, let me use it because it goes perfectly with that. This is a pocket, so I still have to do my um, photo mat to go there. This is the one that opens, which I think I'm going to cover this, I think. I will probably put some pink or maybe even blue. I will see. And then, you know, this one, I want to make another uh, fold over like this. For the photographs because I like them hanging and I still want to make a photo mat to go inside and that's that and this one you know I still have to put paper on the inside and I have added um, my magnets so to hold it closed and then this one I'm quite pleased how this one came out I still this is a pocket there, so I still have to make a couple of mats to go in here. And of course there's a pocket this side, so... And that's why I think the tabs in, in, the, in this paper will look very nice to pull them out. And that opens like... Uh, no, it doesn't open like that. No, it doesn't. It's, it's these two. And that will go like so. Then I've already put some paper there, you know, this is a pocket, so I'll make mats or tags. And then I've left a few nice big ones, just to put the photographs down, you can, I still have to put here. I'm thinking maybe of using like speed pieces like this one. I'm probably going to use it, because you know, I'm not going to waste it. So I'll probably turn this into a little pocket. And I've got just enough. It doesn't have to be half an inch to make your pocket. You can make it a little bit smaller. But like I said, it's because I also want to use these papers. Maybe I'll make a... I'll see. I'll see. You'll see in the flip through. And that goes like that. And then we have this big belly band. Again, I've put my paper down. So it needs photo mats in there. And I use the blue in here. And this, I'm thinking of doing something like that. Like a tuck spot, but I'm going to add extenders. Otherwise, it's just going to be tight. You know, then you've got this full page and then some extenders there. That's why I've left these in here. And that, yeah, you've, you know, this is the one that comes out like, uh, that's it. The, ignore that, that's not part of it. So it comes out like that, yes. And like that and I might put again another pocket here with pull-outs okay so now let's hope this is dry otherwise I'll have to stop the video but it should be okay so we can start I'll do one okay and then I'll do the others or maybe fast forward <laughs> I never know what to do but this is looking very very pretty so I'm going to take off the, all the extra so that, you know, they don't slip out. And then you are just, let's, oh no, this guy must stay in to keep that closed. So, there. So we know now, you there, stay there. It's going to be glued on here. 
and that on here leaving about an eighth let me just see on the side yeah at least an eighth of an inch so let's do and we can a little bit more a little bit more and look at that i've got pencil marks on there can you believe it and that will show if i leave it on so i have to rub it out right so uh here it is so i'm gonna put i'm gonna turn on my light because it's gone a bit dark so excuse the brightness is that i hope that's not too bright guys so i'm gonna put glue making sure you leave that margin 